I'm Lee Bush with Music and Medicine. I was so excited to meet you both that I didn't have my mic up. <laughs> Just can't wait to meet a female commander. And the reason I'm saying that is something I'm sure you've heard many, many times. Being a woman in the military, not the easiest feat to achieve. Congratulations. Thank you for your service and thank you for everything I'm sure you probably went through to get to 24 years of service in this country. I'm particularly partial to you two because my dad was in the Navy, so you two served in the Navy, correct? Yes, he was. He was. So I will. I will definitely um, remember him so well for that and for many other reasons. Obviously, what are the important reasons that you want to leave for your service? The legacy you want to leave for the service that you have done 24 years in the Navy, Commander. Tell me about that. Well, I just want to make sure that um, if it's something you have even the inkling of trying to do. You now I've heard so many people said I couldn't do what you did, and I was like, of course you can. You know, I I was carefree living in Hawaii doing what I was doing and then decided uh, I probably should do something with myself and I joined the military that's how I did it you know and then um, during that time though I came across many great leadership which helped me to get better at what I do you know and then in, in, in turn I turn around and I've had so many um, enlisted people that worked with me in the hospital because I became a nurse and I gave them a heads up a, a leg up and a lot of them have become officers as well so you've inspired many other to follow in your footsteps and achieve their dreams. You said that you're a nurse. You were a nurse. Are you still practicing? No, I retired all the way. <laughs> okay, good for you. But um, congratulations. Thank you so much. This night must mean something so incredible for you. It's very nice. It's very nice to be honored. Actually, you know, I mean, you you get you get the little you know the Denny's free food or whatever. <laughs> you know, you get the little little discounts and stuff. But you know, it's it's nice. This is really nice to come out and be on the red carpet and be interviewed and have a nice event and a nice evening together. This is it doesn't get much better when you're celebrating the achievements of great servants like you. Thank you so much. We are with Music and Medicine. When you hear the words music and medicine, what does that mean to you? Music and medicine. It means, um, well, I love music, so I know for me, music helps to soothe me. You know, it puts me in a, in a nice little rhythm place. Everything else, all the problems melt away or those stressors melt away. Yes. So music is, is medicine. Exactly. And I'm, thank you so much for catching that. You get it. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to convey when we do the work that we're doing at Music and Medicine is to help those understand that music is a healing force in our lives and we can really move forward with all kinds of health initiatives with Im implementing music in those in our care so thank you so much for seeing that chief petty officer <laughs> Greg Snowden yeah well thank you uh, you know what the one thing I do want to point out is that at 17 years old like I said I was telling the other gentleman I didn't have a whole lot of options and the Navy provided an avenue for me to get educated and to get you know life experience so I definitely recommend for a lot of the kids who don't have all those options you know the military is definitely one that they should look into. So you think it's still a viable option and you feel very comfortable recommending the service for individuals? Absolutely. You, I heard that you were working with, um, with guns in the military. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit about what you think about the state of guns now in our society? Well, we have a joke, right? She'll ask me if I have a pocket knife. I was like, I got on pants, don't I? Right? But okay. a, pocket, a pocket knife is a tool. A gun, a weapon is a tool, right? And if you don't know how to use a pocket knife, you shouldn't have one. If you don't know how to use a weapon, you shouldn't have one. So nobody's going to take my guns, but I don't think people who aren't qualified, who don't know how to use them, who don't respect the tool, they shouldn't have them. And then with a lot of mental health issues and a lot of the shootings we're seeing being related to mental health issues, those people should not have access to a gun. Being someone who is a professional and understands the power of guns, mm -hmm. how do you speak to that in terms of the mental health issues and, and access? Well, I definitely think it's an administrative issue. So something needs to be done, and we have this conversation regularly. Something needs to be done to monitor that and to kind of keep the guns out of the hands of people who aren't qualified to use them. But again, I mean, it's your Second Amendment right to own and bear arms. So that's a slippery slope, and it's difficult to say. I mean, you can't take people's guns, but you shouldn't be giving them to people that don't, you know, qualify to have them either. So. 
A lot of work to be done there. Great answer, really appreciate you taking the time to delve a little bit into a very tricky subject, but one that is important to all of us as Americans, both because we want to live safely and we want to have our rights protected. You've worked really hard, both of you, to ensure that being in the service. Being here tonight, what does it mean to you? Oh, no, it's it's definitely fun. And like she said, you know, I wear this, this hat. I, don't, I bet you couldn't find a picture of me without my hat on, right? <laughs> <laughs> and people all the You're time. You're a proud servant. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, and people are all like, thank you for service, thank you for service, thank you for service. Well, it's something totally different to, you know, shake somebody's hand and then have all this fanfare. So it's a big deal. Sure. No, yeah. we, they're taking time to really acknowledge all of the heart that you have given to strangers, but Americans. Thank you so much for really believing that you wanted to protect us and really having the courage to do so because that's what it takes so Thank this you. you're welcome this is a sneaker ball i want to check out your kicks so let me tell my cameraman i'm going to check out their kicks jason <laughs> all right now sparkle a little us is that a usa no, no it's snow it's but in us but in our yeah. colors i love it red white and, and blue oh my goodness now i picked the right sneakers to showcase on this carpet tonight these are custom made for chief petty officer greg snowden and commander snowden is rocking the silver all right now you guys have really shown up well and represent well have a good evening and thank you for your time on the carpet tonight thank you <laughs> you're welcome thank you for your service